Labour's jobs tax will hammer business confidence and scare away investors, Rachel Reeves was warned. The Chancellor gave her strongest signal yet employer national insurance contributions will be hiked to raise billions of pounds in her maiden budget on October 30th. Ms Reeves insisted bosses get that she must increase tax receipts to balance the books, but critics accused Labour of attacking wealth creators and sending a signal of higher taxes on jobs and investors. Tory MP Neil O'Brien added, not that long ago Rachel Reeves was slating the idea of increasing employers' national insurance as a jobs tax which would ultimately just come out of the pockets of normal people, and the Office for Budget Responsibility agrees that the cost will just be passed on to workers anyway. Combined with Labour plans to borrow and spend more and other plans they are threatening, lots of this will already be putting off people from investing in the UK, Laura Trott, Shadow Chief Secretary to the Treasury said, the Chancellor has chosen Labour's first investment summit to sow further uncertainty and chaos for businesses who are now braced for Labour's jobs tax. Regardless of what they say, it's obvious to all that hiking employer national insurance is a clear breach of Labour's manifesto. Rachel Reeves herself previously called it anti-business and we agree, it is a tax on work that will deter investment, employment and growth, and the OBR says it will lower wages. Andrew Griffith, Shadow Secretary of State for Science, Innovation and Technology. Businesses coming to London for the investment summit will have seen the clear signal the Labour government has sent, more business regulation, higher taxes on jobs and investors, and Labour ministers, who do not understand business, attacking wealth creators. We will continue to hold the government to account for its act.